popular pretty versus naturally pretty because a lot of you hoes be popular pretty. You won't get these drinks out here. I got money, so they put it in the bag. I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag. Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad. Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass. I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights. I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like new nights, fresh jeans in a snapback. I'm Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe. So you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe. But only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want that extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership to get that extra juicy tea. And right now, and right now, let me back up a little bit. It's piping hot in there. So I would suggest if you ever was thinking about the right time to join my membership, baby, this is the right time. I've been posting lots of pictures from my trip of me and friend friend and videos. So click that link down in the description if you want that extra little bit of juicy tea. If not, I will be posting a vlog of my birthday trip soon now the vlog that i am posting this week is not of the birthday trip it's the prep before the birthday trip so yeah so yeah y'all we're back with episode two of let's be effing for real okay and if y'all was on my live yesterday or earlier today depending on what coast you want y'all know i told y'all at the end of that i was posting uh well the video today was gonna be about popular pretty versus naturally pretty because a lot of you hoes be popular pretty jk 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 now this topic really ruffled my feathers and i'm just gonna get into it and break it down to y'all i'm gonna give y'all a little mini story times of situations how i've been on both sides of the spectrum of popular pretty and naturally pretty so anytime that i'm doing um these let's be effort for reals y'all because y'all probably click off once i say that i am gonna do like mini story times because I feel like it's important for me to do mini story times so that I can so that y'all know I'm speaking from experience okay I'm 31 okay period my birthday just passed you feel me yeah so I've, <laughs> I've did a lot of living been in a lot of situations and been on both sides of the spectrum of this conversation I've had friends on both sides of the spectrum of this conversation so i can just tell y'all from experience of how just toxic and low vibrational this conversation is now it's a real thing to be popular pretty and to be naturally pretty but let's just break this down let me get the ipad <laughs> love my ipad y'all okay i wrote this in my notes Let's just hop right into it. If my energy seems a little off, go watch my live that I did yesterday or, you know, depending on what coast today. Go watch the live I just recently posted or that was recently up. I'll put the link down in the description if you want to watch that. Just a lot been going on. I spilled some tea on a bunch of different subjects. So if y'all want to see that, go watch that. But um, you feel me? Life goes on and you feel me here we are um if y'all want me to do a life update video where i just give y'all a complete breakdown of a detailed life update let me know but let's just jump into this girl talk i might even cut a lot of this stuff out because i just be wanting these ones to get straight to the point all right y'all here we go we are finna talk about popular pretty versus naturally pretty okay and we gonna be effing for real here like i'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing we about to be for real we about to get into the nitty gritty and we just gonna keep i'm just gonna keep it effing for real with y'all because this topic really ruffled my feathers and i think this is a good conversation for a lot of women at different ages you know at first i thought oh this would be good you know geared towards younger women 
but seeing how it ruffled my feathers at my big ass age of 31 this conversation can go for women of all ages because people realize things at different points in times in their lives okay so we're gonna break down popular pretty and how i broke down popular pretty i broke this down in two categories of popular pretty like you can fit into two different type of categories in this popular pretty but before i do that y'all let me just show y'all the post in case y'all want to go look at this little post on instagram okay so it says can y'all see that if not i'm gonna just put the screenshot on the uh, screen some of y'all naturally pretty and some of y'all popular pretty know the differences and uh somebody put what's popular pretty and then somebody said what if you're neither and then i left a comment that said so what uh, so what why does it matter everything ain't about looks you can't help the way you look unless you get surgery the prettiest person can have an ugly spirit now i ain't went and checked back up on that to see if somebody <laughs> said something to my comment or what but i might go look at the end of this okay but let's just get right into this because i'm tired of, i'm sick of you fake nasty mean bitch out here i'm gonna have to cut this out let me stop cussing i'm sick of you fake nice nasty bees okay let's cut this out right now let's let's get into it okay so let's break this down so the first subject of this popular pretty you're basically usually an average looking girl so you're usually on the spectrum of like average to ugly and this is according to society standards i'm not telling you what you are you feel me usually this type of girl who's a popular pretty girl like i said you know you you range from average to ugly probably dress really nice you be fitted down you you dress really good you make friends easily like you got a good personality people gravitate to you that's usually why you popular you know a lot of people a lot of people know of you because people either talk about you in a good way because you a good person you just not hella pretty but people still you know they still f with you you feel me you still cool people sometimes these people are usually people who got parents that got a little money you feel me so you know people like to gravitate towards people who got a little money let's not, let's keep it real here let's be effing for real y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know them girls who you know may not look all of that but they be dressed down because their parents got a little bit of money and it's going for like my teenage you know young adult ladies you know that's you know your parents still taking care of you you feel me when you dress really good you're usually popular pretty i know from my experience when i was in high school a lot of the girls that you know wasn't the best looking if they dressed really good they was usually still popular you know what i mean they still got a lot of attention from guys because they dressed really nice and they had a little you know change see they was usually in that certain crowd where they still could get certain dudes that only a uh, naturally pretty girl would usually be able to get they can still have access to them type of dudes because they popular pretty they dress nice they they you know probably got a little more money than you know the average person also if i'm referring to like an adult wise you know you probably got a good job you know it's hard working average regular plain jane women so you can take care of this lifestyle of dressing nice having nice things you know fixing yourself up making yourself look really good those type of girls are usually what someone would consider popular pretty you feel me people fuck with you and gravitate towards you and dudes probably only talk to you because you got some type of clout you popular but you probably wouldn't get chose over a naturally pretty girl if a dude had to choose between you and a naturally pretty girl he probably would choose that pretty girl you know this type of girl who's popular pretty is usually she keeps up with herself and she knows how to make herself look good better than what she usually would look like without you know makeup or dressing really nice the way she dresses and carries herself gives her that extra mm, 
so also usually with this type of popular pretty girl you know your angles you know your angles you know how to take good pictures you know how to take pictures where it's not catfish but you know how to you know your angles you know what angles make you look the best and this is not saying catfish i feel like knowing how to take good pictures and knowing your angles and being a complete catfish are two different things like i feel like i fit in popular pretty a lot of people know me i dress well i have a good personality i know my angles i know how to take pictures that's gonna make me look my very best you get what i'm saying like i just know you feel me i know what you know what angles of my face look the best and i didn't master how to take pictures to make me look my very best so it's not catfish if you see me in person you gonna know it's me you're not gonna be shocked like oh you look hella different from your pictures but i might not look as good as my pictures but i still look you know what i mean you ain't gonna be like oh girl no uh-uh <laughs> get up out of here with all that okay now the second type of popular pretty is the type i don't like okay now i don't like none of this i'm just breaking this down but this type of this type of popular pretty girl i don't like so this is that mean girl this is that bully this is that girl who most likely get in a lot of fights be punking people probably always talking stuff on the internet putting people business out there starts drama this is that fake nasty fake nice nasty girl you feel me she's nice when it benefits her when it's beneficial to her she'll play nice she'll be this nice gentle friendly bubbly girl when it's beneficial to her as soon as it's not beneficial to her or in her favor oh this bitch is mean she's mean she's nasty and she's gonna make you feel less than because it's shit didn't go her way this type of popular pretty girl is popular because people like drama people like drama so because this girl creates a lot of drama around her people pay attention to her people tune in to her people want to watch this person people want to keep tabs on this person because they know some entertaining shit is gonna pop off around this girl on this girl's social media and she got clout by being a bully by being somebody who in drama this is like natalie nunn she's a popular pretty girl she's not pretty and this is not talking about looks when you want to get down to the nitty-gritty you feel me because like i said a lot of these bitches be pretty as fuck but ugly as from the inside okay and i don't give a shit how good you look on the outside if your insides don't match bitch you're ugly i don't give a shit about you being able to wake up in the morning and ain't gotta do shit and you pretty if the inside ain't pretty work on it but that's an example uh, natalie nunn she she popular she popular she's a she's you get what i'm saying but she's an ugly person on the inside look at the drama she stirs around her but yet y'all gonna see people under her post bigging her up calling her cute saying she doing her big one i mean of course you got the people who you know see it for what it is and be like girl you is a messy bitch but people that's just like her is gonna hype her up they like damn she popular off of the shit she doing ain't they and so they don't see nothing wrong with it because they most likely the same type of person and they want to be just like that they want to be popular pretty so they gonna keep doing what they doing because they might feel like oh that could be me one day i could be a mean ass bitch and become popular and dudes is gonna want me and people gonna praise me even though i'm ugly as hell but yet i got clout i'm popular i feel like i'm a popular pretty girl not saying i'm popular but i feel like sometimes 
let's just say for you know in the guy world when i used to be not cute and when i say not cute when i didn't know how to really dress and do my hair and all that and put myself together certain dudes would not talk to me now don't get me wrong i always had cute boyfriends y'all because i could pull my roster i could pull my roster and show y'all you feel me i'm not trying to brag i'm just telling y'all like even the boyfriends that i had that wasn't even all that they were still not ugly you get what i'm saying they were still decent they were still kind of cute well to me because beauty is in the eye of the beholder okay remember that okay please remember that that's key that's totally key okay remember that but you know now that i got a little you know you feel me you know now that my little numbers is numbering it's certain guys that's trying to talk to me that probably would not have talked to me before you get what i'm saying now that i got a little a little bit because i ain't got clout i got a little bit of clout you know i'm a little little you feel me doing my little big ones you know certain dudes is trying to talk to me you get what i'm saying and they only probably want to talk to me because i'm popular pretty when it comes down to like say me and another girl who would be considered naturally pretty they would probably choose her over me if they had to choose like if i was next to a girl that fit you know that popular i mean that naturally pretty standard they gonna choose her they not gonna choose me and look let's be effing for real y'all that's how i know for myself i got i know dudes who would not have talked to me a couple years ago versus now because i'm technically like a popular pretty you get what i'm saying i don't fit you know the standard beauty criteria when it comes to being somebody who's naturally pretty now let's break down this naturally pretty now we all should know what a naturally pretty girl usually is okay this girl fits society standards okay you don't have to do too much you can just wake up in the morning and you're pretty you don't gotta fix your hair you don't gotta put on jewelry you don't gotta put on makeup you don't gotta put on nothing cute you just wake up and you pretty now let's be effing for real it's girls out here who are naturally pretty they just was born with those features that a lot of people like it is what it is we got to be real when you're trying to understand yourself and build your self-confidence you got to be real with yourself you you feel me you got to know what categories you fit in even though these categories are stupid but you got to know what categories you fit in so that you know how to nurture yourself. So you know how to build your confidence and don't care about these categories. Okay? Because at the end of the day, y'all, you got to love you. And you can't let these type of conversations dictate how you feel about yourself. Okay? Oop, I'm throwing my pen. Okay, so, you know and just to be you you feel me typically these naturally pretty girls are usually a a certain race or mixed or just have certain features i don't want to get into all of that because this is not what this is about you know race and stuff like that but y'all get the idea of what i'm trying to say of, of somebody who would be considered naturally pretty like be honest with yourself let's be for real we're gonna be for real you know if you're considered popular pretty or naturally pretty like you know and ain't nothing wrong with it you know some things in life it's just like it is what it is but you got to know how to know these type of things know these categories and you don't care you get what i'm saying because the right person the right people are gonna love you for you no matter what you look like okay it's what's really on the inside so i know that some guys or some people i'm considered naturally pretty you know like most guys that i date i can wake up in the morning looking like goddamn just some rag doll and they are looking at me like i'm the prettiest thing on earth you know what i'm saying like 
all the guys I dated think I'm naturally pretty. And when I say that, like, I don't have to wear makeup because I don't really wear makeup. I know y'all be telling me all the time my makeup look good. Y'all don't really be having no makeup. I be having, like, my eyebrows filled in if I got on lashes. And now I do my lips. To me, that's not considered makeup. Now, it does make you look different when you know your eyebrows is shaped. And you feel me, you got lashes on. You got, you know, lipstick or lip gloss on. That do make you look you know different but I cannot wear none of that and I still feel like I look naturally pretty so naturally pretty can be you know different things as well like you're natural you just you feel me you don't wear makeup you don't do all that you're just natural and you're pretty and then you got girls who fit the society standards that is considered naturally pretty usually um, a mixed race a different race you know ambiguous type of people and ain't nothing wrong with that y'all I, I don't want nobody to take this the wrong way it doesn't matter your race what your skin look like you just gotta find the beauty in yourself no matter what you look like like let's be effort for real everybody's not pretty to everybody everybody's not ugly to everybody I'm probably ugly to a lot of people but also I'm probably pretty to a lot of people you pr you might be pretty to people you don't even think you pretty to so you know what I mean it's just like this go hand in hand to my last talking point on let's F and be for real episode one of chasing guys that don't like you you gotta know what type of guys like you you have to recognize when a guy actually likes you and when he don't so that you're not putting yourself in a position where you're questioning whether you're popular, pretty or naturally pretty. You get what I'm saying? Like you, you can tell when a guy, you know, really likes you or not. If you got a question it, he don't really like you. A guy that wants you to know he really likes you is going to, you know, be loud and clear about it. Sometimes you do got to let a dude know though. I like you. Do you like me? Because sometimes dudes are shy too. So if you tell a guy that you really like him and he not returning that energy, girl, you got your goddamn answer. You feel me? If he hesitating, if he ain't giving you a straight answer back, <laughs> you know your answer. Silence is an answer, okay? Let's be effing for real. Don't be delusional. No answer is an answer. If somebody wants you to know how they feel about you, no matter how hard it may be for them to say it, they gonna say it. You know, you gonna feel it. You're not gonna question it. Okay, so let's break down a little bit more why this subject, this conversation, this topic, why it really matters. It really matters because it really fucking doesn't matter. Let's be for real. Like, let's be for real. Let, let's be all the way for real. I know, I, I don't know if you, I say this so many times, but do y'all watch that show, My 600 Pound Life? If you don't, watch it. If you ever questioning yourself and if you can find love or not, please go turn on my 600 pound life. Because if they can find love, you can find love. And that's just, that's just the best way I can tell you if you trying to like get your mind right on this type of shit. If you're thinking like, damn, like... I'm not pretty enough and I'm not this and I'm not that and I'm never gonna find love because of what I look like first of all stop it right there stop thinking that it ain't always about looks okay and I know that's you it's hard it's hard out here the dating pool is crazy but you can eliminate a lot of these people you're dating by just asking them straight up like are you looking for something serious are you really interested in me stop guessing and stop trying to go with the flow unless that's what that's where you're at like me i'm going with the flow i'm not dating nobody to be seriously dating them right now so i'm not gonna ask a guy that unless like I feel like it's necessary like if I do start liking you or if you come to me with it and then we can have that conversation I'm gonna tell a guy like I'm not looking for nothing serious or I'm not looking for nothing serious with you I be honest now with that kind of topic because I don't want to waste nobody time and I don't want nobody thinking like I'm trying to play them ladies especially 
you gotta start stop going with this goddamn flow if you're trying to find something serious and you want to be confident in the situations that you're in with these guys you need to ask them like where do you see this going if he just say oh like uh-uh especially if you're looking for something serious okay so again it doesn't really matter it do matter because if you're feeling like people only want to talk to you for a certain reason either they think you popular pretty either they think because you mean and you know some people attracted to that kind of stuff or or oh this is the one i didn't even mention if somebody think you easy because that's that's one too popular pretty some of these girls don't be cute you just easy now you need to figure out which one you fit in naturally pretty popular pretty easy pretty average girl just regular popular pretty and you got to start building yourself up now if you naturally pretty that doesn't mean you got self-confidence you know what i'm saying sometimes very pretty girls have low confidence because they think that people only want to talk to them because of what they look like they don't really even want to get to know them they want a trophy wife that and i don't know why people think because a girl is a trophy wife that that makes a woman feel good like damn you only want to be with me because of what i look like yeah i'm gonna have i got a good personality and you know you might really actually like me but damn like get to know me you know don't just based off why you talk to me because of what i look like and that can really cause certain girls to have low self-confidence i have a friend who deal with that like she's super pretty like super pretty everybody thinks she's so pretty and you know a lot of times she feels like people only want to talk to her because she's really pretty and not because she's actually a good person and i have friends where shit they was hypersexual you know they always messing with guys and that's why guys only want to talk to them and then when they're out that phase and they're actually wanting to find something serious that's all people see is okay you easy i don't want to take you serious and this might be a good girl you know like you know people always say you can't turn a hole into a housewife but i mean shit people change i'm not saying it's right or wrong but it's just like you know everybody grew up and was raised different and is in different circumstances and shit changes over time you know you you don't want people to see you like that no more and it's like that's all people see so you do want to know what category you fit in so that you know how to nurture yourself how to um uplift yourself how to build your confidence like you need to know where you stand within yourself so you know how much time and effort you need to put into yourself to build your confidence if you're feeling like not so confident in yourself based off the way you look or how you think other people look at you and why they may want to talk to you my battery about to die hold on so yeah <clears throat> But yeah, I feel like me personally, just from my life experiences, I fit in both categories where I feel like, you know, people would consider me popular pretty. They wouldn't consider me naturally pretty based off of like, you know, just the features I have. You know, I got a big forehead. I got bags under my eyes. I got gap teeth. You feel me? You know, my facial features aren't the, you know naturally pretty beauty standards you know so people might think like oh dudes only talk to you because you popular pretty you ain't naturally pretty but you know i feel like i look good as fuck with no makeup i feel like i look good as hell with my natural hair i feel like i could be dressed down and i still feel naturally pretty and i get guys telling me all the time how refreshing it is to see girls who wear their naturally curly kinky hair don't wear makeup don't put on lashes all the time you know so i do feel like i fit into both of those categories and for a long time i had to realize that 
beauty is in the eye of the beholder and I had to take a lot of steps to build my self-confidence because I didn't feel naturally pretty I always felt like like all my friends are beautiful beautiful women I'm gonna be honest like it be times where I feel like damn she's prettier than me like she's considered naturally pretty like guys always want to talk to them instead of me and I had to really like sit down with myself and look in the mirror and just tell myself you know what there's nothing you could do about that there's guys out there who's gonna like you and yeah sometimes the guys you like may like your friends or may like other people they may just not like the way you look and that's okay and I had to like really sit down with myself and just tell myself you know what what could you do about it are you gonna go have surgery are you gonna spend all this money to change the way you look you look no you're not so you gotta love you for you and the right person is gonna come into your life and think you're the most beautiful girl in their eyes and love you for you it could be a billion other pretty girls throwing themselves at you but they're gonna love you for you they don't give a shit if you popular pretty naturally pretty mean pretty easy pretty what type of pretty you're just the apple of their eye and you gotta look at yourself like that because it doesn't matter what you look like men love women who's confident in them i'm confident in myself all my flaws i seen them and loved on them y'all i was so insecure about the bags under my eyes and it's just like there's nothing i could do and then i just had to get in front of that like now i just tell people like i got bags ain't nothing i could do about it they're there hey i had to really sit and look in the mirror and just tell myself it doesn't matter what other people think you think you're beautiful you love you and the right person is gonna love you he's gonna love your bags he's gonna kiss on your bags and he gonna still wake up in the morning and look at you like you the most beautiful is woman in the world no matter what your bags look like no matter what your teeth look like no matter what your skin looks like like that person is gonna love you because of who you are on the inside because someone who really cares about you and love you it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside if the inside is beautiful the outside is even more beautiful you get what i'm saying like i get it people you know visual you know before you get to know somebody you see what they look like but i just think like confidence can carry you a long way you get what I'm saying? Like you hold your head up high. You love yourself. Look in that goddamn mirror. I don't give a shit what's wrong with you and say I cannot change it. I cannot change this unless I get surgery. If you're not going to get surgery, then you just I have to love this flaw about me because I can't help the way God created me. I can't help the way I was born. I can't help the way I look. So I just need to take this flaw and just love it. Everyone is flawed. The prettiest person is flawed in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta look at yourself in the mirror and just say, you know what? Shit, you can be the ugliest motherfucker. Be the baddest, ugliest motherfucker ever. Shit. People think you, uh, I'm ugly and I'm still a beautiful person. I still got a beautiful personality. I still treat everybody like what they look like don't matter. I'm still a good person. Okay, you got to start really just talking to yourself and saying, you know what? I can't help this. Oh, well, somebody's going to love me. And if don't nobody love me, I love me. I love me enough for me and other people to love me. When you see them girls getting the guy you want and stuff like that, you just got to, hey, it could hurt. But you got to just say, you know, that that person wasn't for me. Again, if you start questioning whether you can find love or not, because you don't think you naturally pretty, go fucking turn on my 600 pound life. Okay. That's what I keep. That's my motivation to myself, y'all. When I start feeling like, damn, I'm not 
I'm not naturally pretty. Like I'm not the girl when I'm out with my friends that guys pick first. You get what I'm saying? And it's just the truth. You feel me? I love all my friends and I don't compete with none of my friends and I don't think my friends are more prettier than me. But I mean, <laughs> you feel me? I know they look a way that most people would gravitate as far as guys before they would look at me. And that's not saying like all dudes. I'm just saying like majority of dudes. And I had to like realize like, you feel me? Like it's okay. Somebody that's meant for me is they not going to see them. They going to see me. And maybe that's a good thing. I'm dodging a bullet. Like that's that person's just not for me. <laughs> and you just got to be okay with that and you just got to tell yourself like like damn, like all right, you feel me? That's just not meant for me. No matter how much you want something, that don't mean it's meant for you. You just got to face those facts in life and just know like I said, what's meant for you will be for you, you know. So, yeah, I just wanted to get vulnerable with y'all at the end because I don't want y'all to think like I'm speaking from non-experience. Like I'm telling y'all for a long time, like it was really hard for me to be around some of my friends and they got a lot of the guy attention. You know what I mean? Whether it was like longtime friend, if y'all don't know who longtime friend is, she was like a girl who was very sexual. And so she got a lot of guy attention because they knew her from for being freaky. And, you know, I had super pretty friends and it was just like, dang, you know, I know when we're out, guys are going to talk to them before they talk to me. And that used to really like hurt my feelings. Like I never like was mad at my friends or anything like that. But when I started doing like self affirmations and telling myself I am worthy, I am beautiful, even with my flaws, somebody's going to love me through all my flaws. The right person is going to come to me. Once I stop being so boy crazy and craving boy attention, just telling myself like, yeah, it, it probably feel good to just have a lot of men attracted to you. But at the end of the day, having a lot of men attracted to you is not all that. It's really not, especially when you're trying to find somebody a lifetime partner or you know everything don't last forever you know you may not be with this but somebody who really loves you for you having all that male attention ain't all that you get what i'm saying it's really not so take note of that as well having all this attention on you ain't everything having that one person love you and think you're the beautiful as baddest preciousest woman on the planet that's what you should be going for Fuck all these dudes and all that attention. Like, be narrowing it down to really, like, finding someone who loves you for you and see just you as the, the prettiest girl on the planet. You feel me? And, you know, I've been there. I've been there. But when I started loving myself and building my confidence... And stop going out the house not looking your fucking best. Go outside looking your best every time you step out. Throw away them clothes that them dress down clothes or only wear that shit in the house. When you look, when I look, I don't care what nobody says. When you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, people see that energy they feel that energy they gravitate towards that energy when i started walking outside every day like a bad bitch and i don't give a fuck of who think i am or not when i start wearing my confidence out loud shit changed for me shit changed for me like i ain't gonna lie to y'all i feel like that's when i move from popular pretty to naturally pretty even though like i said that shit don't even fucking matter okay because you might think you're the baddest girl on the planet and somebody not even attracted to you you feel me just because you're super pretty and you fit you know the society's standard of beauty don't mean everybody thinks that of you some people don't 
like skinny girls. Some people don't like light skin girls. You feel me? Some people don't like dark skin girls. Some people don't like thick girls. Some people, you get what I'm saying? It's like, what you should take from this that I can speak from, put that shit on. You go to the grocery store, put that shit on. You doing laundry at the laundry mat, put that shit on. Even if it's like some basic dress down shit, put that shit on. I went to the grocery store today. I put on these cute little little sweats that made my booty look good. I put on this cute little jacket and my little sandals. It wasn't like, but it was still like cute. I still fixed up my hair. You feel me? Put a little lip gloss on. It, it worked out. It wasn't like my like super dressed up, but it still wasn't like I was just going out looking raggedy. So I feel raggedy. And if somebody see me, I'm gonna be like, oh, put that shit on. Step outside the house looking good, feeling good. Stop walking at the house and you feeling like, oh, somebody see me. I got to hide because I don't look cute. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Because that's what st that's what could be messing with your confidence. Put that shit on. Put that shit on. When you look good, you feel good. Okay? When you confident, people see that. They feel that. So, yeah. Start loving on yourself. Start loving your flaws. Okay? Because, like I said, if you ain't going to get surgery, you can't change that shit. You got to feel like you're the baddest bitch walking. You got to feel like that. You got to tell yourself that. You got to live in that. No matter what people say, stop caring about what people think about you. What do you think about you? As long as you know you a good person on the inside, it doesn't... All this outside, popular, pretty, naturally pretty, that shit is for the birds. Because a real man, a real man... A real man is going to think you the beautifulest girl in his eyes, okay? He going to see you. He going to see your confidence. And he going to like that. Don't nobody want to be with somebody who ain't confident. Don't nobody want to be with somebody they got to consistently reassure, like, I love you. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's exhausting. If you got to consistently tell somebody, you're beautiful. I love you. You know, I, 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 no. A man wants you to be confident. Like, you know you're the baddest thing walking. Period. A real man, a real man is going to love you having high confidence. Okay? He know that you not intimidated about these other females because he chose you because he he know you that on the inside you is beautiful and it radiates out. Yeah. But I think this was like super long. I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but I need to hurry up, but yeah, just ladies, men, you know, talk positive to yourself, be nice to yourself, love yourself, pour into yourself, stop worrying about everybody else's opinion, pour into yourself, okay, and then you won't care about these dumb ass topics and what other people think or feel about you, okay, the right people will come and be in your life at the right times. Everything doesn't happen when you want it to happen. You may not get the people you think you're supposed to have. That's just life, okay? Life ain't fair. And once you realize that, you will know when things don't go your way, hey, chalk that shit to the game. Stop holding on to, like, negative energy and vibes and people. Like, mm-mm. Let that shit go. It's not for you. It's not meant for you, and that's okay. But all right, y'all. That's it for let's be effing for real and be effing for real with yourself, okay? Figure out who you are, what categories you fit in, love on yourself, and then say F these categories. I'm me, and that's it. I don't care about that shit. All right, y'all. Deuces. <laughs>